Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it is a long awaited video. You guys have been asking me for years upon years upon years to do a skincare routine video. And today, after those years and years and years, I am finally here to do one for you. Now today's video is going to be my morning skincare routine video. A lot of these products don't repeat themselves in my nighttime routine. So if you would like to see a nighttime routine, let me know down below. But today it's going to be my morning skincare routine and I'm not in my bathroom where I would normally do this. I normally would do this in my bathroom, but you guys know I'm in my filming space just because the lighting is impeccable. It's making my skin look even better than it might actually be. For your reference, three disclaimers before we get started. Know your skin before watching any kind of skincare routine video. Cause sometimes I think people get caught up in watching particular skincare routines without understanding their skin. They're watching an oily skin video when they have dry skin. They're watching a dry skin when they have oily skin and thinking that every single product that that person is using is going to work one-to-one -to, -one to their own skin. And it's, sometimes that's just not the case. Sometimes some products are one size fits all. Most of the time they are not. So make sure that you understand your skin. As I list each product I use, I will We'll let you know what the site says about the type of skin that this product works best for. Number two, something about me myself, I do get facials or really microderm infusions once a month. So I utilize that. I go to Massage Envy and get some facials at least once a month. So I have found that it does help. Those microderm infusions have really helped. I've seen immense progress in my skin. I started this over maybe eight months ago and I've loved it. And then three, take into account that skincare is very, very much so genes heavy. That's why I have been skeptical about doing a video like this is just because somebody will watch a skincare routine as gospel and they will not have the same mother and father as that person has. So their skin is very different. It is very much so genes heavy. My skin is just like my mom's skin. Me and my mom have the exact same skin type. I've never really seen her break out. I don't break out a lot. I've broken out, you know, pre-18 and I might have hormonal breakouts, but for the most part, I rarely break out. The one thing we both struggle with, if you can see on my skin, is we have um, a few skin tags um, around our skin. My mom has gotten hers removed because she had a lot more than me. I'm probably going to get mine removed once... Uh, I get more. I don't think it's at an annoying level yet, but the same thing, my grandmother has it. My grandmother deals with pretty good skin, but she has those kind of occasional skin tags as well. She got them removed as well. So we, three generations have the same skin. It might be the same in your family as well. You might say, hey, I have my dad's skin or my mom's skin or a combination of both of their skins. Make sure that you understand watching this video. I love the products that I love, but understand that Mama LaVon uh, passed down not only my name, but passed down her skin to me as well. So without further ado, let's go in order. I'm going to go in order of how I do my skincare routine in the morning. So the first thing I do is I cleanse my skin. The cleanser I love is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is the value size version of the soy. I also have it in during the Sephora VIB sale. I bought the bigger version of the Fresh Soy Skin Cleanser. So you might see it in this bottle or you might also see it. I love this. This is my cleanser of life. You might also see it in the small size. So this is the small of the Fresh Soy Cleanser. So small, medium, and then you have your large. I don't know why, but again, it's for VIB sale. You getting 20% off. I'm going to get me and load up on this because these do last me a while. The site says this is for normal, dry combination and oily skin. So all skin types, it says it's great for. At the top of this video, I don't know if I said what type of skin I personally have. I used to think I had dry skin. Going to my esthetician over these last eight months and getting my microderm infusion, she was like, you have normal skin. So stop saying you have dry skin. You've come in here every single time. I've even changed your chart to say this. You've said dry, it's not dry, it's normal skin. So I have normal skin type, but this is what I use. I love this. It says it's for dryness, it's for dullness, and it's for uneven texture. And I watched a esthetician on here who said that you need to rub your skincare and cleanse it in for one minute, I believe it said. Um, so 60 seconds of rubbing this in. 
Or if I do my cleanser step in the shower, I just use the washcloth that I'm gonna use for my body later for my face. So I do face first, then rub it all over my body. But if I'm doing my skincare and I shower at night or something like that, I use a washcloth, a white washcloth. I buy all my white washcloths at Target. I love it just because it allows me to make sure that I get everything off. I know it's pretty costly. Once they get super dirty, I do discard them, but I love a good white washcloth. It makes me feel very luxurious and spotlight. Now I love the smell of this and this is my cleanser of life but before that I used to love and I still like it to a certain extent the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser. Now this product specifically is for normal to dry skin so it's not all skin types like how this says on the bottle all skin types this one is just for normal and dry i believe they have one for oily and combination skin but this is a great i wouldn't say it's a dupe for that product at all but it is a great cheaper alternative to a good cleanser that you have so i loved this and sometimes i switch between back and forth because again this is an expensive product so if it's been you know five days of using this i'm always like what does one day of using this product hurt especially you know it's a value size it's less than I believe at least has to be less than $14 now moving on to my next step which is toner I used to use I'm scared to say this embarrassed if you will to say this but witch hazel witch hazel was my uh, toner of choice if you see the bottle I used quite a bit of it um, and then I was watching both an esthetician and a dermatologist videos on skincare when I started getting real serious about it last year and they were like no stop 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 just because something is natural does not necessarily mean it is a hundred percent good for you like witch hazel is a natural product and they have shelves lined with witch hazel but just because it is a natural astringent it can be too harsh for some skin types and for me i found it to be very harsh but i kept using it because it was like it's supposed to work it's natural no we're not we're not doing witch hazel over here so what i've been using for toner now is i love the fresh rose and hyaluronic acid deep hydration toner so this is what that looks like i also have loved this toner as well i've used a whole bottle of this one so i go in between both of these two this is just the rose floral toner so it's a spray without the pouring that you have to do with this one so really like this one it's easy to go through this one what they say on the site about this one is it is a daily non-stripping toner with real rose petals and hyaluronic acid that minimizes the looks of pores while increasing skin hydration i always Always use kind of these cotton pads and then shake this up a wee bit I don't know if the shaking is a requirement but I do it I pour some on the cotton pad and then I just I like to do this step until the cotton pad comes back white so right now it's still not coming back white this step really helped me realize that even if I do my nighttime skincare routine, my skin is not 100% until I do this step. I usually spray this directly on my face, this toner. This is again the Rose Floral Toner by Fresh. I really like Fresh's products. My cleanser and toner are both fresh. So I just spray that on and then I do this. So this is kind of a quicker step of my toner. So when the cotton pad comes back white, I know that I am all toned and all ready to move forward to the next step, which I kind of find is my favorite step, which is my serums. I switch between these two depending on the day like I just go between them I like both of them but the one I probably use heavy and I used it in my morning routine video if you called it a while ago I that was not a skincare video that was just what I do in my full morning from working out to waking up to eating that video I use this product which I really love and it is the ordinary hyaluronic acid plus B5 hydrating serum. Now this is a very affordable product. It is $6.80 uh, where you can find the ordinary products at. This is what I use 
a lot a majority of the time but I have been liking another the ordinary product now this is the ordinary niacinamide I hope I'm saying that right and zinc serum it kind of looks like it's the same bottle that's why sometimes I think I accidentally might pick this up instead of the hyaluronic acid and vice versa the great thing about serums is you can pair both of them together if you want to but I find it just works better for me if I use one and today I'm gonna go in with the hyaluronic acid one it goes in like this is a little dropper and I just put them all over my face it doesn't hurt to bring it down a little bit. You might be like, what does hyaluronic acid do, Leah? It just helps hydrate and plump the skin. I typically move on to my eye cream portion at this point. I like to use the Origins Ginseng Vitamin C Eye Cream which is used to brighten and depuff the eyes. I use a very, very small, I'm talking small amount of this in the morning. You don't wanna use too many heavy products under your eye, especially if you're gonna put makeup on in the morning. You just wanna keep that area, you know, as kind of product light as you can, and so I just, Put it in up under my eye. Now for my next product, I used to use a kind of a lip balm. I use my Laneige lip mask at night, but for the day I just use a balm, especially if I am applying something on afterwards, so like a lipstick or something like that. I just go in with something not super heavy like that sleeping mask because that can be heavy. Also, if I'm about to eat, I find just a normal lip balm, so nothing fancy. This is Laura Mercier. I'm on their PR, so they sent this to me at one point and I really like it. So I'm just gonna put that on. Now that I feel like my serum has settled, I'm gonna move on to the moisturizer I use. Again, going back to my fresh products. Left fresh for a minute, circling back at the moisturizing step. And I use the Fresh Rose and Hyaluronic Acid Deep Hydration Moisturizer. So this is that product. Just going to all over my skin. I used to be very heavy handed with moisturizer back when I realized that I was or thought that I was dry skin. I'm not as heavy handed but I do want my skin, especially if I'm not wearing makeup. I find that this makes me look like brighter and makes me look like, oh, like, like I got a little layer of foundation or face and body or something on. I feel like it it does something. It takes my skin to the next level when I moisturize. So um, I don't try to go too heavy, but just heavy enough that on a WebEx, my skin looks alive, honey. And then finally, final step is just going in with a thin layer of sunscreen. So this is a sunscreen that is a recent find of mine. I'd say since my Cabo trip, my best friend who I went to Cabo with was, she loves her skincare routine. She don't play about her skincare routine. She had this on her like skincare station that she had made at the hotel. And I was like, does that work really well? I've heard great things. And she was like, yes, love it love it um so it's the super goop unseen sunscreen it is spf 40. they have so many different versions of the super goop but i like this version i'm just gonna put a very again thin layer on my skin the thing i like about this is it's very lightweight but that is the last step of my morning skincare routine all in all i'm not filming it it does take me roughly about less than six minutes like it it really doesn't take me that long to do my skincare routine at all maybe roughly less than five make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't i love all the love and support over here on this channel also i didn't say my age in this video people get so jarry about age i am 30 two years young at this point so this is the skin as I enter my 30s that's why I'm caring more about it now than ever is because you know I'm in my 30s I think in my 20s I play stupid games I got stupid prizes now I'm woke up and I'm a little bit smarter about my skincare so I am 32 years young that's why I don't mind paying the prices that I have for my skincare products either if you've looked up any of these products and you're like oh that's super expensive I spend more on skincare now than I do on makeup because this is what I care about I care about preserving you know my actual skin so 
If you have any questions about why is this so expensive, skincare ain't cheap. It ain't cheap, but it's a price I'm willing to pay to keep everything tight and looking good. So uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram too, at lelevon89, so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.